Don't think for one second that I'm going to go in the next spring without another truck or my other one fixed. Might just fix the other one. Got my other one fixed. Might just fix the other one. Got to, I got to, I got to get, I got to get inf get information. So I'm gonna go see the mechanic uh, next week and I'm gonna go over and see exactly what I need to do. Okay, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Monday morning. Uh, y'all know the what well, the time uh, fell back this weekend. So I wanted to touch on a couple of things real quick this morning on the video uh, before I get into the video. So I've had a couple of the guys come in the comments and was saying that uh, you know I thought that. They thought, I said, well, I was going to buy a truck before I bought a skid steer, you know, and it may, I, I kept saying earlier and, you know, a, I guess a month or so ago when I was looking at trucks that, uh, you know, I need to take care of my truck situation. But in saying that, and I did say at some point, I, 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 maybe I can find the clip. I, I know I said it because that's how I, I felt all along. If I didn't say it, I, I, I'd be very surprised, but I know I did. So... We understood from the very beginning of the off season here that my number one priority was to make sure I had the truck situation taken care of. Whatever that may be. Now, it, buying another truck, buying a new truck, or fixing the one I got. That is what I'm, I said. I know I did because I thought that the whole time. The mechanic said that he didn't think that the, my truck was worth putting an engine in the one that they got over there. It's ready to go, it's been ready. I just ain't, I ain't needed it, so I ain't, I ain't went and got it yet. So, my sequence of events that I was talking about back then, it, it still applies. Uh, the number one thing for me was, okay, before I look at a skid steer or uh, any other piece of equipment, I need to get my truck situation figured out. I did that. We have decided that we're gonna run with the truck that I have. The mechanic says that yeah, it's old and yeah, it's beat up. He said, but man, it ain't worth putting an engine in and it ain't worth selling. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, just keep it and run it until you can't run it no more. That's that's the that's the thinking, okay? He did fix the, uh, the noise that it was making, so, uh, yeah so and then you know i i know paul coming come in the video saying well now it's time to buy a skid steer well yeah if one's available but i went back at paul and said look a truck's the number one thing i need to figure out that was before i had you know uh looked at a few used trucks saw you know what they what they are and uh and that was before the mechanic had a chance to really look at my truck so yeah, uh, and I, and also that was before my buddy got permits to build the wedding venue out there. Now I don't know how much of that work I'm going to get, but I'm sure I'll get some. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, well, I know I'm going to get. I know I'm going to do a, some of the work, and the more capable machine I got, the better. My T190, I'm not wanting to to, to uh, put it out where it's really having to work hard. I'm just not. Uh, so the, all those things that I just said is kind of what fueled me and not to mention that Kubota called me uh, and said that they uh, had one available because I got on Kubota's list over a year ago for and at that time it was a, a 75-2 I got on the list for that for one of them went back when I was dealing with Takahuchi and all that because why because those are the only two manufacturers that offer the roll-up door that's those are the only two so either I was either gonna you know I, I know that I could have went to CAD or Bobcat or somewhere and I could have got a machine 
right? But I don't. I was not going to buy one that didn't have the roll-up door. I, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to hold out until I until until either something happened. Uh, and meanwhile, while I'm holding out, I'm stacking money the whole time. I, I, I guess some people lose sight of that in the comments. They think that I'm just out here working and I ain't doing nothing with my money, just like a lot of other people may do that make uh, decent money in this game. You know, I make decent money in this game, but I don't blow it. I hold it up. It's a lot harder to get money out of me than it, than, than it is for me to make it. So you gotta be like that and when you have goals. I have goals, man, and I might not share the goals with the channel a lot because I just ain't thinking, but I got goals. So uh, I'm gonna go in here to the bank right now real quick and get a cashier's check for the 45K. Uh, yeah, so I'll have that on standby. I won't have to fool with that uh, whenever I do uh, pull the trigger on the machine. So, yeah. But I just wanted to clear all that stuff up, you know. Okay, y'all, I know there's a lot of naysayers and stuff out there, you know, that are uh, hating on Ray because he's making a move. And, you know, and I will admit, y'all, uh, I mean, you know, I'm a realist, man. I try to keep it real on the channel. I will admit I am very nervous about this whole transaction, right? Uh, I'm at the bank now. Uh what I did is I got a cashier's check for 40K, and then I'm gonna write a personal check for 5K. So, uh, 45,000 uh, down payment, and my payment uh, is gonna be, what they say, like uh, six and a quarter. And I know there's somebody coming, you should know exactly how much everything is. I will when I leave down there, and if I don't like, I know that what we talked about this morning and I know exactly what the payment's gonna be based on the money that I put down give or take I don't count pennies man okay uh, so uh, I think the pay he said the payment uh, is gonna be uh, what do you say uh, $700 a month so that's what it is and that's what I'm gonna be having to come up with right so uh, yeah and just to show y'all i'm not bull crapping here's the cashier's check right here just in case somebody thinks that i'm ain't got no money or don't know what i'm doing or you, you don't you don't number one if you don't know what you're doing you're not gonna be able to bank money like 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 this and be able to let it go i ain't finna spend all my money who who the hell even would think that about me I don't even like to spend all my money on a down payment on the machine. That that would be not smart. And I'm a smart dude. <laughs> Hate to, I know that's freaking you know uh, foreign to a lot of guys. But I don't I, I don't normally make bonehead moves with money. I ain't saying it ain't it can't happen. And you know, uh, but it ain't it ain't a normal procedure for me. Okay. So uh, this is a real check, and I'm fixing to go get a real machine and take a chance roll the dice but keep in mind that this money right here the only money i'm pulling out of out of funds that i wasn't thinking about is the 5k personal check that i'll write on top of this so i was going to get the cashier's check for the uh for the whole thing but i didn't want to take this account all the way down to nothing and by the time the money transferred from one account to the other it was going to be wednesday because my personal account is at a whole another bank so uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna write a check for that, uh, and I could have wrote a check for the 40k, probably. Uh, but I like to, you know, I like to have a have have a. Uh, I don't know, man. I just like to, and I just like to have things in order, right? So, uh, yeah, and that's what it is, man. Uh, but I know there's going to be some folks out there that it's a bad move, but they can't tell me why. Uh, it's a dumb move, but they can't tell me, they can't tell me why. Damn, I need to go the other way, dude. I don't need to go this way. So, you know, and, and again, I am a little jittery and a little nervous about, you know, whenever I spend money like this, 
uh, I get nervous and I can't think of a time that I've actually spent 40k in one while I've done 20 quite a few times but not 40 but keep in mind this account right here is the account that I have been banking money from every Bobcat job I've ever done with my Bobcat so uh, and I think that uh, well at the end of the day uh, there ain't uh, yeah there ain't nothing but about uh, four grand left in the Bobcat account I don't want to deplete it all the way uh, like I said I don't, and I didn't want to transfer over so we'll and I talked to the dealer this morning and they're good with whatever you know they don't really care so uh, yeah uh, we're gonna use that money I got sitting in the bank to make more money I know a lot of guys might not do that a lot of guys might be thinking well I ain't I wouldn't do that I wouldn't spend 40k blah 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 well then then what so the money what's the point y'all for you know 48,000 45,000 just to sit in the bank if I don't do something with the money it's not really enough to invest in no property or nothing it's not really enough to do anything you know big but it's enough to do this and uh, if I don't do something with some money I'm gonna have to pay some money so oh uh, we gonna we're gonna make sure that the business is in the best position to win and is it a mistake I don't think so but hey it could be but the thing is I'm willing to roll the dice and another thing is it ain't like uh, if I can't run the machine or <clears throat> I can't deal with the machine or I can't get work for the machine or anything or I feel like I'm overwhelmed with it it ain't like I can't sell it <laughs> ain't, okay I would take a hit true enough but it would be a manageable hit so uh, I know for a fact that I'm gonna be able to sell mine I'm picking up the boat he's gonna ride down there with me just in case something happens okay y'all so me we over here at the Kubota dealer and uh, the machine is freaking really nice uh, the only thing that we're having it ain't an issue it's they don't have any 74 inch buckets so that's uh i don't want i don't want the 80 inch bucket the 80 inch bucket just looks way too big uh, and it's a smooth bucket so uh that bucket is like 2500 dollars or something like that so two things are going to happen either i'm going to get it with that bucket <clears throat> which ain't happening or i'm gonna get it without that bucket and they're gonna uh try they're trying to round up another a bucket uh equivalent a 74 inch or whatever um uh, and that's been that's that's and they're washing it and everything i haven't done any paperwork yet but uh i'm sure uh we're gonna get to that uh, i already got all the receipts and stuff in the email so uh, I don't really know but the thing we're waiting on now is uh, they get they called another dealer to see if they can get that bucket uh, the 82 inch bucket or 80 inch bucket that's just that's just really wide man it's outside the tracks and I don't really want to have a bucket that goes outside the tracks like that so It's a good looking machine though and I'll and I'll get more video once I get it on the trailer and we chain it all down. So uh, Yeah. And I thought that maybe the 72, I mean the uh 80 inch bucket would be okay, but after seeing it on the machine, uh I don't, you know, uh, and it being such an expensive bucket I don't mind spending the money on the bucket, but it's got to be the right one. I don't want a $2,500 bucket that I don't like. We want to, we, if we're going, so they're going to either uh, sell it to me without the bucket taking that, and that's going to take the price down some, or uh, 
find another bucket from another dealer. So, I don't know. But they got it. This is Mason Tractor and McDonald. They got a lot of equipment here. Not a lot of skid steers, he says, but they got a lot of tractor stuff. So they got all these these front end tractor buckets, uh, you know, loader things. Uh, they don't have a lot of skid steers though. The the uh, and you know for sale, brand new. These are all rentals here. Uh, now they got some mini X's. And they got some wheel machines, but the 90, uh, I mean, the 75-3 is their newest machine on the skid steer. So they don't have it. They don't already have any. Uh, not enclosed cab with all the things that I want. So uh, he said that they got this one in. Uh, he said they got two of them in, and they're both sold. One to me and one to somebody else. And the other one's already gone. But you can see they got machines, you know. And they got, there's a, the 97-2. They got some of them. And they rent all this stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, that's about all I can really uh, do while I'm here. We'll go, we'll pick this video back up uh, when we get it loaded and everything.